So when it comes to these two DJI FPV drones, which one should you buy? That's what we're going to find out in this video. So there's one thing that you need to know before anything else, and that's that these two drones are completely different. They are designed for different styles of FPV flying. The DJI FPV drone is designed to kind of replicate your traditional FPV drone. So it's meant to be fast and agile, while the Avada is a cine whoop. So it's designed for more cinematic flying, flying closer to objects and at slower speeds. So these drones were not designed to do exactly the same thing. So just keep that in mind throughout this video. Okay, so let's start with what is exactly the same about these two drones. So they both have the same flight mode, so you'll get normal, sport, and manual mode in both drones. They both also have the return to home function along with GPS. They both have stills and photo mode, and they both can be used with the remote controller and motion controller. They both also have the emergency brake function, which is amazing. Now you can use both of these drones with the V2 goggles, but the brand new Goggles 2 is only available for use with the Avada. So why did DJI make these two drones? The sole purpose for DJI making these drones is to make it more accessible and easier for people to get into FPV flying. So let's now have a look at what is different about these two drones. The FPV drone weighs 795 grams, the Avada only 405 grams. The FPV drone can do 88 miles per hour and the Avada can do 60 miles per hour. Battery life is very similar with the FPV drone getting around 20 minutes and the Avada 19 minutes. So it might not sound like a big difference. You might think, well, this one's just faster and that's true. The DJI FPV is much faster than the Avada, almost double the speed in sport mode. But there's also a big difference in how these drones are built. Obviously they look completely different that's a given. But what they're made out of and their actual structural design is also very different. So you have the Avada, it's very tough, rigid plastic and everything is kind of protected in the Avada. The camera is tucked away behind a, a plastic shield, the prop guards protect the blades and the motors and even the battery has some protection along the sides here. So this is a very rigid, strong drone and you can crash this thing multiple times and it'll stand up. And the best thing about it is they are offering parts for the Avada, so it should be fairly easy to replace bits and pieces on this drone. However, when we get over to the DJI FPV, this is a much faster drone and it also has no prop guards. It doesn't have too much protection around the battery or around the motors itself. This is all just plastic and it's not as durable as the Avada. These arms are very fragile and if you crash this into the ground, these are gonna break. A traditional FPV drone is made of carbon fiber and they are designed to crash. So you crash a traditional FPV drone, you can buy parts to fix every little inch of that drone to make it fly again where this, you're only gonna get a couple of crashes out of this sucker. Now, another massive difference between these two drones is the onboard camera. Let's chuck some specs up on screen. So looking at the specs, there isn't a great deal of difference really on paper. Obviously the FPV drone does a 48 megapixel photo and the Avada only does a 12 megapixel photo. These drones weren't meant to be photography drones. I mean, there is an added bonus. You can flick this into normal mode and pop off a few photos, but in reality, that's not what these guys were made for. Now the DJI Avada camera just absolutely shits all over the DJI FPV. You can see I've got a 3D mount here for where I put a GoPro and I'm generally always flying with a GoPro on this drone. It's great because it can handle the extra weight. You do suffer a little bit in battery life, but what I love is just the ability to use a GoPro and have that amazing image quality. Now when it comes to the DJI Avada, this camera is a different kettle of fish altogether. This camera is amazing. It's really, really nice. And I've seen some people mount a GoPro onto this. I'm not too concerned. I think this camera does really well in a lot of situations. What is also an added benefit for the Avada is you can use gyro flow. Now this is a game changer. This in my opinion is better than Rocksteady or Horizon Steady or anything like that. Gyro flow is just schmick. Oh, it, it looks amazing. So that is the biggest benefit of the Avada over the DJI FPV because at the time of this video you cannot use gyro flow with the DJI FPV. And I'm not even sure if this is gonna be available in a firmware update, something to do with the camera and how it's actually captured. So that is a win for the Avada. The camera and the gyro flow 
is spot on. Now there is a reason why both of these drones are on this table and not just one, and it's because both of them perform different tasks. If you want to rip around mountains and get scenic stuff and fly through valleys and all that kind of stuff, this is going to be your go-to drone for that style of flying. Whereas if you want to fly through houses or fly through people and get those classic cinematic one shots, then this is going to be the drone for you. Now you can still rip around with this thing, this is still a fast drone, but it's just not designed to fly like this drone is supposed to. Now there has been a bit of a bug with the Avada that it's nose diving into the ground, but I have seen a lot of situations where this has happened, it's, it's how you're flying the drone. The drone is not meant to be flown like psychotically, it's a cine whoop. So you have to be careful with how you fly this thing. It's not as agile as a FPV drone. One thing to take note of though is the Avada is not that great in a high wind situation. I've flown this thing in a really windy situation and you're, you're flying like this. You know, it's not ideal. But that's where this guy steps in and it's much more powerful in windy situations. So which one should you buy? Well, it comes back to what you want to capture. What do you want to shoot? If you want to shoot high paced, fast FPV footage, this is your guy right here. But if you want something a little more slower and controlled, the ability to fly indoors and around people, then you want the Avada. But that's why I have both, because I utilize both. I love this drone and I also love this drone. DJI have just absolutely hit it out of the park with these drones. And they're doing such an amazing thing with getting people involved in FPV flying and making that journey so much easier. And it doesn't have to end here. I have traditional FPV drones as well. So this was my starting point. This is where I started to learn FPV. I felt comfortable, I felt safe with these products. And to be honest, I actually prefer flying these guys rather than traditional FPV most of the time because I feel so much more safer with that emergency stop and the home functions and all those things you learn to love with flying a typical DJI drone. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by DJI. I wish it was. And what you can do is if you have the V2 goggles, you can just buy the Avada on its own. So if you bought the DJI FPV in a pack with the goggles and the controller, then you can just buy the Avada on its own and you can use those V2 goggles with the Avada. Unfortunately, you can't use the brand new goggles with the DJI FPV, so I would kind of recommend if you want to be able to use both drones, go with the older goggles. And that's it. Please subscribe to the channel, guys. We are trying to grow this rapidly this year. So hit that subscribe button. Help us grow the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Hooroo.